and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're gonna to go over the data that shows the possibility that using a shingles vaccine could possibly prevent Alzheimer's disease. You know, why should we care about Alzheimer's disease and the prevention of Alzheimer's disease? Well, because as our population ages, Alzheimer's disease has grown in incidence, meaning that more people are getting Alzheimer's disease. Do you know that if you live in the United States and you're above the age of 55, you have a 42% risk of developing Alzheimer's disease or some form of dementia in your lifetime. That is a lot of people. And currently we really don't have good options for treatment. So I'm excited about even the possibility of having something that could possibly prevent Alzheimer's disease. The data on this has been coming out for the last couple of years, but a few weeks ago, JAMA, which is a very well-respected medical journal, published recent data that I thought was really interesting and I thought I'd go over what we know now. This particular study was an observational study. We'll talk about the pros and cons of that at the end, but they studied over 101,000 patients that lived in Australia and they used electronic medical records data to evaluate these particular patients. And what made this study so interesting is that in 2016, Australia decided to give the Zostavax or shingles vaccine for free to everyone that lived in Australia who were between the ages of 70 to 79. So that meant in 2016, if you were 80 years old or older, you would not be able to receive this vaccine. But the authors of the study felt like there was enough similarity between the people that could receive the vaccine and people that were too old to receive the vaccine that they could be studied. So they studied these people over about seven and a half years. And they found that those patients that received the Zostavax vaccine had a decreased probability of developing dementia over that seven year period by 1.8 percentage points. So those patients that were ineligible to receive the vaccine because they were too old, in that group, 5.6% of the patients developed dementia, whereas only 3.7% of patients that received the vaccine developed dementia. Now that may not seem like a whole lot, but when you shuffle the data around, it roughly comes out to about a 30% relative risk reduction. This means roughly that those that received the vaccine reduced their risk by about a third compared to those that did not receive the vaccine. It's not perfect though, because older patients in general have a higher risk of developing dementia. So the data is not perfect. I can't say you know, 30% of patients for sure. But I wanted to give you guys kind of an idea about what 1.8 percentage point reduction really means and what that can translate to. There were other similar studies that were published in the journal Nature. One study was very similar, except it was done in Wales and it studied 280,000 patients in their medical records. And it too showed about a 20% reduction over a seven year period in patients that received the vaccine versus those that did not. And lastly, another study published in the journal Nature studied 103,000 patients that were in the United States that received the Shingrix vaccine. And once again, they found a decreased incidence of dementia in the patients that received the vaccine versus those that didn't. All of these studies are observational and observational studies can never specifically say for sure that something caused something else or something does not cause something else. We say in science that association does not mean causation. For instance, if I eat an orange every single morning and then don't get into a car accident on my way to work, that doesn't mean that me eating the orange causes me to not have an accident. What needs to be done next are double blind placebo controlled studies but these observational studies are ways to cue the interest in having these more controlled studies done. This observational trial raises so many questions like, does a virus cause dementia? We know that herpes zoster is caused by the varicella virus and the varicella virus, once it gives you chicken pox, hides in your nerves and hibernates in there until for some unknown reason, it comes back out as shingles. A lot of people think that it's because of age or because of stress, but we really don't know why all of a sudden people can develop shingles. But we do know that with varicella and with shingles, there can be inflammation in the brain that can happen during those both of those diseases. So we know that it's a very neurologically 
potent virus. So it would make sense possibly that there could be an association between something happening in the brain and this virus in particular. At this point, there's not enough data to say or to use the Shingrix vaccine to prevent Alzheimer's, but there's a possibility that it could prevent the development of Alzheimer's in the future. Studies I'm sure are ongoing. I'll keep you guys posted. But at this point, if you are 50 or older, get the Shingrix vaccine. If you have had shingles before, I still would recommend getting the shingles vaccine. You should wait about a year after your active shingles outbreak before you get it, but I would still would recommend it. If you've gotten the Zostavax vaccine in the past, I would still recommend getting shingles vaccine because it's stronger and it's gonna last longer. I love medicine because there's so many interesting things that are constantly ongoing. These early studies, these observational studies are pushing science forward to study that more. And gosh, I would love to have something to help us prevent the horrible disease of Alzheimer's. I hope this video gives you hope and that you found it beneficial. Thanks for joining me.